What's up guys? Welcome to another video from Bop Stream Series. Today we're going to be going over how to use a Go XLR in your Astro Mix Amp simultaneously. So this video should appeal for anybody who already owned an Astro Mix Amp, then decided they want to get a Go XLR for all the amazing features that it adds to your stream or your gaming setup, or for those who already own a Go XLR and are just looking for ways to enhance their setup, specifically their audio. Adding a Mix Amp Pro to your audio setup can give you a lot more control over your audio make it a lot more dynamic and just better this video has been on my mind for a little while the idea came to me because like a lot of people watching this video right now i already had an astro mix amp uh bought a go xlr and i really wanted to see if i could use them together there's actually plenty of videos on youtube about this topic they get a lot wrong all those videos basically correctly explain that if you have an Astro A40s headset, it is best to use the Mixamp even though you have a GoXLR. Just run an uh, aux cable from the headphones jack in the back of your GoXLR into the aux input on the Mixamp Pro and then run your headset from the Mixamp Pro. They explain that this is a good idea because the A40 sound best when coming out of the Astro Mixamp and that's because the Mixamp was built for the A40s. Uh, so the preamp slash headset go together really well. They're not wrong there. That is a correct statement. They do sound best coming from the mix amp, but then they go on to basically explain that's all it's good for. That and basically being a glorified volume wheel. Essentially, they're saying because you're getting all your voice game balance from the Go XLR and you're not using the mix amp as your main audio source on your PC anymore, all that game voice balance and special features that come with the mix amp no longer apply. That is what we're here to correct. That is not true. You can still use your Mixamp Pro's game voice balance. In fact, I suggest you use it with a Go XLR. The one issue that the Go XLR has is it can give you stream voice balance, but when you balance those things, that is going out to your stream. Your stream's gonna hear everything that you do to your Go XLR audio, where you can set up a situation where your stream hears the Go XLR, your stream does not hear the mix amp. So during your game, you can balance your game and voice as much as you want while still giving your viewers that crisp, real consistent audio balance that you set up. And hopefully we're very careful about getting just right before you started your stream. A little bit of a warning before we get into this, it does require some extra equipment. In the first section of this video, we're gonna go over those extra pieces of equipment and whether or not you'll need them. Some of that equipment is required and everybody's gonna need it some of it depends on your circumstance but we'll talk all about that in the next section after that we'll go into actually setting this up and show you some diagrams and that's it that's that's basically going to be the video before we get started as usual i want to promote myself a little bit i do stream on twitch every tuesday every wednesday every thursday early afternoons to early evening with optional streams on monday and friday um, if you enjoyed this video i'd love it if you ran over there dropped a follow come hang out and chat sometimes if you have any question about your setup any of my videos or any recommendations you want from me about gear that i've enjoyed or i recommend feel free to jump in chat ask me those questions i love to talk about this kind of stuff during my live streams don't be shy all right let's get into it all right so in this first part let's talk about the different equipment you're probably going to require in order to do this um the first thing i want to mention is an hdmi audio extractor if you've never heard of this device well it does exactly what it says it does I mean, the name could not be more perfect. It takes your HDMI cable and extracts the audio out of it. So on one end, you have the HDMI in that you plug into the HDMI audio extractor. On the other end, you output an HDMI cable, but you also have the ability to output an optical cable and you have the ability to output an aux cable, a 3.55 millimeter aux cable. The audio that's output from the aux cable and the optical cable are basically clones of each other. There's no latency between the two. So you can take one of those cables, plug it into one device. You take the other cable and plug it into another device. The second item you're definitely going to need is a ground loop isolator. There might be some, you know, more knowledgeable audio people out there. So correct me in the comments if you want. We're going to give this our best go. But basically the purpose of a ground loop isolator is when you have two devices that run on their own preamps on separate power, you can have a situation where through the aux cable, some of that electricity gets in there and creates a really, really nasty noise for you. The ground loop isolator comes into play 
by standing between those two devices. So you run an aux cable from one device into the ground loop isolator and then run an aux cable from the ground loop isolator into the second device and it'll ground that nasty crappy noise. Literally, you're definitely gonna need this if you wanna hook up a GoXLR and an Astro Mixamp Pro. It will completely eliminate that nasty noise. Additionally, because we're using an HDMI audio extractor, you wanna make sure you have the correct HDMI cables. I had a buddy who bought this recently and had a lot of issues with it. Um, I'm not even sure if he resolved it i have a sneaking suspicion that it was due to his hdmi cables you need to have high speed hdmi cables both going in and coming out of the hdmi audio extractor if you want to be saved you can do what i do and use 8k cables i will actually link the cables that i use down below in the description next the thing you're definitely going to need are 3.55 millimeter aux cables you're definitely going to need these i'm thinking you're going to need about three depending on your setup you can get away with two better to be safe and grab three you're probably buying those things already or have them sitting around because if you have a go xlr they don't come with the aux cables so you're going to need to purchase those regardless and finally depending on your preference and we'll go into this we'll go into this during uh the setup section you might need an aux cable splitter now i'm not talking about the type of splitter that splits your audio from left ear to right ear you don't want that so be very careful if you decide you want to go that route you want one that's actually you want one that can actually take in an aux cable um you want one where you can take two aux cables plug it in I'll put it out and you still get both left and right audio from both those sources. This can be done. I've done this setup before. I don't think I'm using it anymore. No, I'm definitely not using it anymore. But in previous um, configurations of my audio, I did use them and they worked great. You may or may not need this. For most of you, you probably won't need this, but just in case, if you have a dual PC setup, you may actually need it. And that's it. Other than the Mixamp Pro itself and a Go XLR, we're good to go. Let's go to the next section and talk about setting this up. Okay, to set this up, we're going to start off with a single PC setup. First, we have our Go XLR plugged directly into our gaming slash streaming PC. Since this is a single PC setup, they are one in the same. Next, we're going to run an HDMI cable from the gaming slash streaming PC into the audio extractor. From the audio extractor, we output a 3.55 millimeter aux cable right into the aux line in on the go xlr additionally we're going to output an optical cable directly into the back of the astro mix amp pro where we're going to get our game audio next we're going to run an aux cable from the back of the go xlr's line out into the ground loop isolator from the other side of the ground loop isolator we run another aux cable directly into the aux input on the top of the astro mix amp pro and finally we're going to run the final aux cable which really isn't an aux cable it should be the chat link cable that came with your astro mix amp pro directly into our astro a40s headset or whatever headset you have in this next part we're going to go over a dual pc console kind of setup with the astro mix amp and the go xlr i'm calling it dual pc and console because essentially they're the same thing they're both gaming machines that need to output their video and audio to some sort of streaming pc but first let's begin with the gaming pc we're going to run the usb cable directly into the gaming pc from the go xlr then we're going to output an hdmi cable from the gaming pc's gpu into the capture card that's in the streaming pc if you're not using a capture card if you're using one of those dvi methods sorry i don't don't know how that works next we're going to run an aux cable from the line out in the go xlr into the stream pc's line in and then just like before in our single pc diagram we're going to run an hdmi cable from the streaming pc into the audio extractor from the audio extractor we're going to run a 3.55 millimeter aux cable into the line in on the go xlr and again we're going to run an optical cable directly from the audio extractor into the astro mix amp pro then run an aux cable from the line out on our go xlr into the ground loop isolator and then from the other side of the ground loop isolator run another aux cable into the aux input on the back of the astro mix amp pro and finally we'll run the last aux cable which again isn't an aux cable it's probably your chat link cable that came with your a40s from the mix amp pros headphones out into our astro a40s or whatever headset you're using 
for console, we just have to make some small adjustments. Of course, we're going to have to take the USB cable from the GoXLR and plug that directly into the streaming PC. And that's basically it. We're still running an HDMI cable from the console into the capture card into the back of the streaming PC. Once you've done that and hooked up your USB cable directly to the streaming PC, the setup is exactly as it was when we talked about the gaming PC slash streaming PC setup. Okay, now I just want to take a moment to talk about that aux splitter cable we brought up in the previous section. This only applies to a dual PC setup. So if you have a console, you don't have to worry about this. This comes about because you're plugging the USB cable directly into your gaming PC. When you do that, you need to have a way usually to get your alerts and things like that back to the GoXLR so you can hear them in your headphones. Now, if you're already running your alerts on your gaming PC, you don't need to worry about this. If you don't care to hear your alerts yourself, you don't need to worry about this. If you do wanna hear your alerts, usually what you would do here is you'd run an aux cable from the streaming PC's line out into the GoXLR line ins, but we're taking that spot up with the HDMI audio extractor's aux output. So the only way to get our game audio into the GoXLR while also getting our alerts into the GoXLR, at least with a single GoXLR setup. On the screen now is a video where I show you how to set up two GoXLRs. If that at all interests you, this solves this issue very cleanly and gives you the ability to separate your alerts from the gaming audio. But basically in this situation, we're going to have to share that line in between the streaming PC and the HDMI audio extractor. So you're still gonna run an aux cable from the HDMI audio extractor to the line in, but you're also going to run an aux cable from the streaming PC's line out into a splitter that is shared with the aux cable from the HDMI audio extractor into the GoXLR line in. I really hope that made sense. If it didn't, just ask me in the comments or jump into my live stream and ask me about it and I'll go into more detail. All right, and that's it, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you learned something new. For anybody out there who owns a MixAmp Pro and a GoXLR, I hope you'll start using it correctly. I hope you'll start taking advantage of all the really cool things you can do by having both these devices working simultaneously. For those of you who do not own a MixAmp Pro and watch this video, I hope I inspired you to maybe look into getting one. They're actually not that expensive. They run for about 100 bucks, and they really do give you a whole new level of control over over your audio setup fairly cheaply also before i go as usual make sure you hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos as part of my stream series and again remember i do stream live on twitch every tuesday wednesday and thursday with optional streams on monday and friday would love to see you in chat and that's all thanks for watching